Hey everybody, welcome back to Holt Growers. I hope you had a great Easter weekend. I know I did. I spent it with my three boys. We had a great time. Uh, excellent service at church at Six Points. Check them out. Definitely a wonderful day. Uh, we also ended up the day with a delicious meal at one of our favorite restaurants. It was great. However, all work and no play makes for a dull boy, but all play and no work means nothing gets done. So, here we are again on this gorgeous Monday. Last night we ran into a little bit of a hiccup. It was gorgeous out, and then overnight, wake up and the, the whole yard is covered in snow. We got about uh, three to four inches of snow last night, which definitely put some damper on things this morning because we had to wait for it to melt in order to do a lot of stuff outside. So. That's the way it goes when you're dealing with nature and um, having to do work outside. Sometimes it snows, sometimes it sleets, sometimes it hails, rain. Other days it's nice, bright, and sunny. Even now, as you can see behind me, it's pretty overcast weather. Um, it's still a little chilly out. That's the stocking hat on my cold head. Uh, but it's not too shabby, so uh, definitely blessed. As I hope you are uh, when you're watching this video. So little recap of the events of last week. I was able to get some prep done, some bed prep done, and uh, some other minor projects, but not a lot done. Mainly because it rained almost every day last week. And it's really hard to work in the rain when you're dealing with power tools. So, the other part of that is bed prep in the rain is not very fun. It's just a muddy mess. So, however, if you look behind me over here, you'll see uh, our rain barrel. Our rain barrel is completely full, 350 gallons of rain collection, rain water collection, which I'm very happy with. And no leaking. Um, we don't have any leaking. We do have a drain off uh, for overflow, which we end up having to use. But it filled up. It works well. We also have good pressure coming out of that two inch opening on the other side when we open it up. We've already used it for watering our chickens, um, providing them with water, and definitely looking forward to using it for irrigation so the other thing that was accomplished today actually just a little bit ago is this wonderful gate behind me I will have a description of it and the dimensions how I built it um, for you however just to over uh, recap if you I don't know how well you can see it in the video but there's a chicken wire fence covering my patio right now in order to keep the chickens in the backyard. Uh, we'll also be putting in a fence all the way in the back along the road and then one closer on this side of the blueberry grove. That way the chickens won't be able to eat all our blueberries. <laughs> uh, but that's future plans. Uh, hopefully that will be done by before the end of the month. But this one needed a gate. So I made this gate. I came up, found some plans for it. Uh, online and then modify the dimensions to fit my space. It is a wide gate at 48 inches wide and it's also a taller gate. It is a full 50 inches tall. I do have this nice steady cross beam right here and I had some uh, leftover chicken wire, um, three foot wide chicken wire. So I put that on there, uh, left a small gap. The chickens shouldn't be able to squeeze through it on the bottom. A little bigger gap on the top, but I don't think that would be a problem with chickens trying to jump through there. They'd have to have some pretty good aim to fit. So overall, I think it's very well done. It works um, how I like it. I do have a latch on the outside. It's a very simple latch. You just lift up, and then when it shuts, it latches shut on its own, which is nice. Again, I'll have a description of the materials to build this. Uh, provided for you in case you want to build this simple gate. It's the same basic design that I intend on using for the other gates once we get the fencing in place. So, not a lot going on this past week uh, as far as Holt Growers is concerned, mainly because it rained uh, literally almost every day last week and that just made for uncooperative land. However, Family-wise, it was a fun-filled day uh, yesterday with Easter, and we had a great weekend. So, I still have one more project I need to get done before I lose too much daylight, and that is building a compost sifter. So, 
with the compost sifter, uh, I'll probably uh, do a video on that as well. Um, once it's done, how it works. I want to make sure it works well first before I uh, go broadcasting the success. So stay tuned for that and uh, get out. Grow something today. May God richly bless you and uh, yeah, grow something.